just holding off the Australian Daniel Ricciardo. Further back in this 42 car field, there are dices everywhere on the Silverstone circuit as the drives are streaming thick and fast through the corners. Formula Renault 2 litre racing is an integral part of the ladder towards Formula 1. Recent graduates include Kimi Raikkonen and Lewis Hamilton, and these drivers have all got dreams of Formula 1 superstardom on their minds, and that is why they are pushing to the absolute maximum around this Silverstone circuit. That in number 14, that's the young Italian Andrea Caldarelli. He is in third position as the rest of the drivers are dicing for position. This frantic battle is for 23rd place, and they are racing as if it's for the Formula 1 World Championship. So, as they power on their way through Brooklands, and it's position swaps on every corner as we look to the two leaders as they come down the hangar straight now. And it's Ricciardo and Bottas, and Ricciardo dives the inside of Bottas on the way into Stoke Corner. He gets his wheel inside the pad of the fins, and they're side by side on the way out of Stoke. Then it's Vale and Club, and then after that, they've just got the rest of the lap, and then one more lap to go. It's Daniel Ricciardo in the Red Bull SG racing car and Valtteri Bottas in the Motor Park Academy car. That's the white and blue car and they exit Club Court Curve and then it's up the Abbey Strait and this is another overtaking position for Daniel Ricciardo. He is glued to Valtteri Bottas' gearbox and he dives the inside. Bottas shuts the door firmly shut. The young Finn really is being touted as the next Kimi Raikkonen. He's certainly got the same line in dry humour and Ricciardo is probably Australia's greatest single-seater prospect for many, many years, and the two of them are having an absolute masterclass here around the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit today. They are 10 seconds clearer than the rest of the field, and they're already lapping some of the slower cars. They are so much quicker than the rest of the pack. They really are drivers who could make it all the way to Formula One. Certainly at the moment, they're just concentrating to make it all the way to the end of the next lap, and hopefully they'll both finish, and one of them will wind up as the winner. So they start the last lap now and it's Valtteri Bottas is getting his pit board. He doesn't really need one because he can see Ricciardo in his mirror, mirrors. He knows where the Australian is and he knows he's just going to hold him off for one more lap. They exit Cops. Then they've got this Maggots and Beckett's complex. They can't really overtake here. So Ricciardo files in behind Valtteri Bottas who just slides a little bit wide. These Formula Renault 2 these cars capable of 150 miles an hour on the hangar straight which they are coming onto now as they exit Beckett and Ricciardo is right on the tail of Valtteri Bottas. They come under the hangar bridge. This was the scene of some legendary overtaking manoeuvres in the past. Ricciardo is waiting for the very, very last moment to pounce. He pounces now! And Bottas just about slams the door shut. Ricciardo's front tyre is just touching Bottas's rear as they head up towards Vale for the very last time. Ricciardo decides not to make the move as Bottas just runs a little bit wide. He turns through club but he's just lost a little bit of speed that time around. He just drove on an extra couple of metres of the track. He didn't need to. They exit club and then it's the climb up towards the Abbey Chicane. This is really a last gasp of taking position and Ricciardo's going for it. He's got his wheels on the white line. He dives inside. He forces Bottas out wide and Ricciardo takes the lead on the way in Tabby for the very last time. But Bottas is coming back. Bottas is coming back as they accelerate out of the average chicane. It's side by side into bridge. That's 130 miles an hour as Ricciardo slams the door in Valtteri Bottas' face and says, no, you've got to try something else as they go through Brooklyn's last time. Then it's just Prari and Luffield remaining. And Bottas, is he close enough for the move? Well, not this time. And it's the cars are both sliding. They go into Luffield. Ricciardo hugs the inside of the circuit. So it's now going to be a drag race to the finish. They both accelerate now. They're both going as quickly as they can. A fist in the air from Daniel Ricciardo. He knows he's won this one as they Right through Wood Cup for the last time and across to take the line and it is Ricciardo just from Valtteri Bottas. A fantastic manoeuvre on the very, very last lap of the race from the Australian Daniel Ricciardo. And here comes the battle for third position and Andrea Caldarelli just holds off Michele Fakin as the rest of the field stream through. There coming through in ninth position is the top Brit, Adrian Quaife Hobbs, who will be pleased with that result, but it's nothing compared to the performance of today's winner, Daniel Ricciardo. It was really intense. And uh, yeah, just, just to keep pushing and, and try to find a way past uh, wasn't easy, but on the last lap I, I managed to, uh, to get by and to see the chequered flag was an uh, incredible feeling, really good. Although the Australian takes the top spot on the podium, the press have described this as a race with two winners. Everyone in Silverstone agrees, and the two men are now on the top of the championship with Calderelli chasing close behind.